So this first part of the video is for your instruction. Take your time to watch all the variations and find out which is the best variation for you. If you watch the video more than once, then of course you just jump to the second section and I'll put it in the instructions below where the actual practice begins. We're going to work on the sitting twist, we're going to do a lying twist and we're going to do a kind of standing twist, sitting twist. Arda Matsyandrasana. Now this asana has quite a few different variations uh, which you can use depending on your flexibility and skill with your Straighten out our right leg. The left knee is bent. Now, don't come too deep with this left leg. You want to have the leg you know, roughly towards the knee. A very easy version of this twist is to just bring the right hand and I'm just going to hook it around my, my knee. Bring the left hand behind the back. Now with the left hand, make sure you lay the hand flat on the floor. I'm levering my left leg with my right arm. I'm pulling my toes towards my body and looking over my left shoulder. This is a, a version if you're not particularly flexible. Let's go for the second version of it. So one little step further. I'm bringing the left hand behind the body. I'm pushing the abdomen towards this kind of section of my upper leg. Elbow to the left side. Third version. So we're going to once again lever the left leg. Now I'm going to bring my hand towards my foot. Fourth version. Bring the right hand to the right leg. Let's go for the, the second set. Bend the right knee. Bring the left foot down beside the right knee. It's good not to bring the leg too far back. Keep the foot relatively forwards. Hold the leg with the right arm and bring the left hand behind the body. Second version. Lever the left leg with the right elbow. Third version. Bring the hand towards the knee. Fourth version. Now you're getting good. Try to bring this right hand and hold on to the foot. So I've really got a lot of leverage onto my left leg. There is one more version of this asana to take it that little step more advanced. I'm straightening up my body. I'm bringing the abdomen towards this upper leg, elbow towards the knee, just to give it a little help to begin. And then I'm going to try to bring my hand through the legs. If it's very difficult, maybe you've just got the fingers touching like so. If you're a little more advanced, maybe you can grab the hand or you know if you get really good at it you can hold on to the entire wrist. Make sure this right knee is pushing towards the floor. Keep the body flat on the floor and breathe here for about one and a half minutes. So that's all the variations of the sitting twist. Arda Matsyandrasana. Let's have a look at the twist lying down on the floor. There are some variations for this twist. Glue the legs together. Drop the knees towards, in this case, the left side. Take my arms and just dramatically splay them out like so. And turn my head to the right side. For the second version, stretch out my left leg. I'm going to take my right foot and put it under my left knee. Shoulders pressed to the floor as much as possible, which is quite difficult. Take my right leg and let my whole body roll over to my left side. And with an exhale, I'm going to slowly allow my right shoulder to begin to sink towards the floor. There is another version. Stretch out my left leg. I'm going to bring my right leg over and wrap it around the left one so you can see the feet together. There's a little bit of leverage from my right foot. Keep the shoulders pressed to the floor as much as you can. Let's roll over to this left side. You can see my right shoulder is already raising up. With the exhale, I'm going to stretch my right arm towards the floor. Enjoy it. Breathe. Allow the, the, the posture to, to kind of manifest into the body. Finally, we're going to work on this standing twist. Place the feet firmly on the floor, arms completely relaxed. You know, there, there's no, no stiffness in the arms at all. They're just allowed to flop beside the body. Move my arms from side to side. The second part of this is to also begin to turn the heads, looking 
over my shoulder to the wall behind me. Allow your eyes to close. You don't want to just breathe willy-nilly. You want to really up, begin to control the breath here. It's more like inhale, exhale. And we will do this for about two minutes. If you feel uncomfortable or maybe you feel a little dizzy while you're doing it, then stop. So go and get your yoga mat. Bring it into the room, lay it on the floor, and let's practice yoga together. Om. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So come and sit on your yoga mat and we prepare for Ardha Matsi and Drasana. So remember the variations, you can work with a straight leg. Or we work with the bent leg. I'll work with the bent leg. So bringing the foot to the knee, back is straight, you're levering the leg across, bringing the elbow to the knee, or to the, you can bring the hand to the foot of the knee, turning the head to the left, and allow yourself to relax into the posture, breathing deeply for the next couple of minutes. If you wish, you can also go a little deeper into the posture. You can bring the hand through the legs and join the hands behind the back. Now only do this if you feel it's within your capabilities. Relax and breathe deeply. And then let's begin to come out of the posture and we'll work on the other side. For a moment just twist gently to the other side and then change your leg position. So bringing the right leg over the left knee. Yeah. Bring the hand to the foot or to whatever position you're capable of and look over your right shoulder. Relax and breathe deeply once again for about a minute or two minutes or so. Find a connection with your breath. You can also do the variation by bringing the hand through the legs, joining the hands behind the back. Relax, breathe deeply.
and slowly coming out of the posture, twist for a brief moment to the other side, and then let's work on the lying twist. So lying on the back, you know, relaxing the arms to the side and bring the knees over to one side. Now if this is too easy, then we can work with the variation by bringing the foot under the knee and allow the whole body to move over to the side and stretch the arm out to the right. Relax into the posture and breathe deeply. Allow all the muscles of the body to completely relax. Allow your mind to relax and enjoy the position. Slowly come out of the position and staying completely relaxed. Take a moment, allow the spine to adjust, and then we'll switch sides. Do the variation of your choice. So we're rolling over, to the right side, and then the left arm opens out to the left side. and breathe deeply, completely relaxing into the posture. And again for the next couple of minutes or a minute and a half. Relax, relax and enjoy. And we'll slowly come out of the posture. Allow the whole spine to completely relax. Take a moment, breathing deeply. Allow the spine to relax, mind to relax. Now let's go out for the standing twist. So the legs are slightly apart. 
Yeah, relax your shoulders and arms. And then slowly begin to rotate from side to side, letting the arms to flow completely freely. No stress, no tension. And the head begins to turn. Remember the deep breaths. Gently flowing from side to side. Eyes are closed. And we're going to keep this movement of swinging from side to the side for about two minutes. Remember, if you feel a little dizzy or it's uncomfortable, please stop or carry on for another 30 seconds or so. And allow yourself to slow down. Keep the eyes closed for the moment until eventually you completely stop and just stand still, connecting to your breath. Feeling the change in the body. And then very slowly, bring yourself onto your yoga mat, laying down. Into Shavasana. And here we'll remain in Shavasana for about a minute and a half to two minutes. The feet relax. The legs are relaxed, let your hips relax, your chest, your abdomen, your neck and your shoulders, your arms, your hands and the fingers. Let them all completely relax. Your neck relaxes, your head and the muscles of the face relax, even the inner organs of the body relax, the heart and the lungs, the brain. Let your nervous system relax, bringing your attention to your breath, and for the next minute you're only the breath, gently breathing in and gently letting go with the exhale. together, stretching the arms over the head, connecting once again to the body, staying really relaxed as you bring yourself up to sitting and we'll chant together three times Om and three times Shanti. Oh 
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti.